another little Blender build tutorial here. And I'm going to load in my Eye of Telamon. People seem to like this build. They think it's kind of cool. And I guess there's some kind of cool techniques or maybe not, you know, nothing I haven't showed you before, but maybe how to like use them in conjunction with their, each other to like make a, and people ask me how I did the, the symmetry and, and stuff like that. So um, realistically, the most important part of making everything symmetrical is coming over here to these X, Y, Z's and making sure that you are, you know, in the right spot. So, anyway, it's a really big build. Probably, uh, they're just loaded up. So, yeah, that takes, uh, you know, almost a minute to load up here on my PC, which is an 8700K with a dual uh, 1070s here, 1080s. And so this is kind of a cool little thing here. Uh, uh, a lot of neat stuff going on here, and it's pretty complicated, man. Um, so let's see how I did this, man. Let's try to recreate this. I actually built this a long time ago, so I am kind of curious if I can actually <laughs> duplicate this again. You know, this stuff here in the middle is not going to be a problem, which is probably the cool, everybody thinks that's the coolest part, but this is, uh, this is some uh, tough stuff right here, man. Um, let's go in here and just erase the whole thing here. Bye. Oh no, it's gone. Let's get rid of all this stuff down here. Like I said, uh, I don't like to look at... Oh look, we got a bunch of stuff over here. I don't know why this happens either. So I just erased everything. And I've got these uh, wall lights uh, that are in Blender that, that, that say that they're there. But if I turn the eyeball... And the eyeballs are turned off too. I don't know why. Why is that? I have no idea. But there's nothing in Blender. I don't see any vector points or anything, man. So... Um, I don't know why this happens like this and where those wall lights came from or why they disappeared and they're just uh, non-existent but um, I'm getting rid of them because you only get a certain amount of room for anything so bear with me here why I do this and waste uh, the first two minutes of the video and then okay so so on this thing we're just gonna make a big uh, concrete glass floor plane I don't know what just happened there Let's add a whole bunch of these little guys and that looks about the size of it go a little bit longer and trim up stuff too so let's go ahead and try to just center this sort of anyway and let's alt D this grab it alt D it do it again Pull out, select, Alt D. Do this again. Let's go one more time on this. Just like that, huh? Just like that. Let's go one more. Let's make it big. We're probably going to be uh, trimming some things down anyway. This is just to get us our rough kind of shape and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and Alt D this again. And let's pull this bad boy up like that. Give us a little wiggle room. Pull it up. Now, for the bulge. Let's go ahead and get our circle out. And I want the bottom to be a little bit bigger than the top. So I'm just going to kind of lay it on here about like this. And maybe tilt it. I kind of want this weird effect with this. Hmm. Can't change my mind now. Kind of like that, huh? A little more, a little, a little fatter in the back, a little less in the front, a little less on top. Anyway, we're going to work it. We're not duplicating the IFT Le Mans because that's just not going to ever happen, but we're going to get a pretty close replication of it. That was the wrong thing to hit. We're going to go um, hit, this, hit the right button. We're going to go down in here into Object and go to Transform, and we're going to go to Push and Pull. Now once you hit it, you can kind of start sliding things around. I told you, push and pull is kind of a one of those really cool ones, man. So, 
There we go on that. And let's move this up slightly. So there's kind of like the bottom piece of it. I guess this would be the front. Slim towards the back, right? I like it. I'm cool with that. And we can take the rest of this here and just get on a different kind of a... You know, just so, just so it doesn't look like it's been done off the same piece. You know, that's uh, the whole point of it is just kind of give it a, a, a kind of a weird... Now, there we go. Now, I just stretched that out just a, a tad bit. And now we can just come up here and hit this. Now, there's several other ways you could have done these wings down here differently. I mean, you want to go and make one wing over here. Um, actually, I'm just going to teach you something now, re real quick right now. Let's go ahead and duplicate one of these. Let's say we wanted to make a different style wing. Okay, let's go ahead and Alt-D this guy. This is going to be a little experimentation for me, too, as well. We can learn together. Um... I don't know, say we wanted to add some kind of a bend. So let's use our shift W and well, that's not doing any good. It depends, like I said, it all depends on where this little cor uh, crosshair is of how the bends work. That's not giving me anything that I like. Uh, shift W. Right click, see that thing is all over the place. Like I wish I could control it with a uh, XYZ thingy and put it where I exactly where I wanted it. See like right here, it does nothing. So to me there's like no rhyme or reason to with how this kind of works and I don't feel like I have a lot of control over it. All right, so that's kind of neat. That's a little different, right? Get like some kind of like weird little flare off there. and Anyway, it's different, right? So let's say we wanted this as a wing instead of the other one. And this was going to maybe be like this. And we'll come back over here and see how... Whoop, that's way too far. Come back over here and see how it kind of like lines up a little bit. You know, I don't really like it. I like the other one better, but we're just doing a, um, you know, kind of experimenting here together. Let's go ahead and Alt-D this and pull this over here now down in objects we have a mirror button now there's an xyz and they will do that but there's uh there's one called interactive mirror and and on the screen shortcut it's a control m so let's go over here and take a look at this now be careful in here because it's uh, the way it clicks is just so weird i don't know you just have to mess around with this and if you mess up you just go undo and just retry it again i'll probably mess it up this this time here so you'll see what i'm kind of talking about or i'll just get really lucky all right so what was a control m we control m and then i center mouse button click and click again now that's like that go into object go into mirror Y click it Z nope X X was it. All right, so now we got this crazy looking wings up on top, man. And those are pretty, actually, pretty cool, man. I'm actually kind of satisfied with that a little bit. I think they look cool. We can also kind of come up here and grab these guys and shrink everything maybe slightly because this is definitely going to get shrunken down here. Let's go ahead and shrink this too. Slightly. Let's go we might be able to maybe walk around in here. <clears throat> I'm probably going to shrink everything down quite a bit. And when those wings are awesome, like they came out a lot better than I uh, than I thought they were. And I actually just maybe want to make this, a, like, I don't know, like an, a bat or something. Like this is not going to be an IFT Lamont. I've just created something different. Um, and so that's really cool how we can do the mirror thing and make these symmetrical pieces uh, also, um, you know, 
like this is probably a, a better version not even a not a better version but it's kind of neat and i'm not and i could shape this a lot differently as well but i think that's kind of cool so let's go ahead and make that eyeball real quick and let's uh, wrap this video up so it's not too long let's alt d this guy right here pull him out <clears throat> and add a couple more glass floors we want this because we're going to make a circle we want this to be um uh you know odd numbered so we have a piece in the middle um, so six would not be that let's go ahead and add one more here i think seven is actually what i used on the original one for the eyeball we're going to come down here and add a red light now red lights they say somebody posted a uh um kind of a partless of like how taxing it is on in the game and stuff and red lights were the least and I found that to be weird but I made a base with 4,000 red lights and <laughs> it worked so I am like a red light junkie now I guess so to speak so red lights are my go-to even though they aren't the brightest <clears throat> if you want bright use candelabras so let's hit an alt D on this and change to our pivot mode here. And this is where like lining stuff up perfect. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're wanting to make a, a super perfect symmetry thing, um, you'd probably come in here a little bit better than I am going to do this right now. But for right now, this is what we're going to do. We'll alt D this thing, bring it to the corner best I can for eyeballing it right now. Now, for you guys uh, wanting to get really technical over here, here's your spot to make it very exact where you want it to be. We don't have time for that right now. Not me. We're going to pull this around all the way till we get back home. Usually, I would have just doubled it up and, and kind of kept on going, but I feel extra ambitious today. I'm going to go the whole mile. All right. So this is going to be that odd, odd centerpiece right there. Not going to really matter, man. You'll see that in there, but it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be on both sides. Actually, if you want to go ahead and orientate this whole thing correctly, remember that where that's at like that, because you're not going to see it. And just not like that, but slightly like that. I think that lines up with everything, too. So we're just going to erase all this middle stuff because we have we just want that outside piece and there's a lot of doubled crap in here that we don't need. Bam, bye. So now we got this big ring of circles with all these red lights on it. Cool. Right? Let's go ahead and highlight this sucker and shrink it down just a bit. Let's alt D this thing again and hit the S and shrink it down again. If my mouse would go that way. There we go about like that it's perfect okay so now let's go ahead and turn this and face it the right way and let's go move it over into the spot where it's supposed to be at which the middle is about right there let's come up with it come over slightly and yank him up So there we go. We've got this uh, no man's sky eyeball bat looking thing. I don't know. And hopefully you learned a couple of tips and tricks in this and go out and make something. Please like and subscribe, man. It'd be nice to like make monetization off of stuff. <laughs> I want to make money in my sleep, dude. Anyway, love you guys. Bye.